Hello, hope you're having a good day today, and today is another hiking vlog, of course. Not a cloud in the sky. It's one of those beautiful days in Colorado, so I decided to, it's one of my last days off, so I'm gonna go hike up Bear Peak today. Um, it's actually right next to South Boulder Peak, so if I have enough energy, I might walk over to there too. But uh, I got everything packed up, I got my water, I got some food in my stomach, got the drone ready, and I think it's about time to hit the road. So this hike is um, in Boulder, so it's not too far away, which is good. Um, I think it's only maybe 20, 30 minutes by car. What's up everyone, I made it to the trailhead. I think, I had to do a lot of driving to find out where to go. I tried to go here originally, and there wasn't much parking, it's just residential area. So I was kind of hesitant to parking here, but I ended up doing it anyway, because I went to another trailhead to get to this peak, and it's closed. So now, I went back to the original trailhead, and hopefully I can make it with no closures. It's a pretty intense trail. I think it's like 3,000 feet of elevation gain in, in five miles. So actually it's 3,000 elevation gain in two and a half miles. It's round trip. So this is gonna be exciting. I can already feel the burn. <laughs> Oh, I came up on one of the flat irons. Actually pretty dang close too. Camera doesn't do it justice, but I think it was pretty tall. A couple hundred feet. And it's almost like the same right angle where you just walk right up it almost. You don't even need spikes. You might need spikes, but you don't need rope. I'm a little lost. There's no trail markings, so I'm just gonna keep walking up this ridge. I don't know if the thing said it was correct, but I'm like halfway to the peak. I still have 2,000 feet of elevation to go. I found this awesome creek though. It's pretty cool. Huh. The girl's just running in a dress. Interesting. Back to this creek though. I love the sound the creeks make in the mountains. Dope. Trail marker. I did read that some of the floods washed out some of the trails, so it could get a little difficult navigating, but I think I should be all right. Luckily this app helps a lot. What is that? Guild 234. Fern Canyon Trail. This is it. camera but it's starting to get pretty grueling so I think I'm gonna take a break put the camera in my bag but I did spot out a pretty cool view and that would hurt check out the view there you already know why I'm here why I love this place so much I still have to go up here, I think. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Wow. They weren't kidding about saying this hike was hard. Oh yeah. Definitely going up now. It's getting real rocky. Whew. I hope it's not like that the whole way. Long way up. Uh, I've been off trail for about 20 minutes now. Making my way up. I mean, I was way down there. I don't know where the trail is, I'm just going uphill. I know I have to get to the top. And if I get to the top, 
I don't know where the hell I am, but I am currently lost. Not too bad. I mean, the city's right behind me. I don't know if you can tell. I'm breathing pretty hard. I'm good to keep going. It's just elevation starting to get to me now. Right next to a flat iron. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to make my way to the top still. Hopefully I can get there. And this is the right way. I'm not too off track. You know what I mean? Wow. I just did something new. I actually rock climbed to the point where it was, if I would have fell, it would have been pretty bad. But I couldn't see any way up. Besides so walking around this giant rock, I just didn't know, so I just kept going up. I mean, luckily the flat irons have a good angle to climb up, but it was a little sketchy. Let me sit here and take in the views real quick. I mean, I got the hike up here, so that's pretty dope. Flat irons, so cool. I think I have maybe half a mile to go. I'm not really sure. Just keep going up. Uh, just another lame view. Just like, pretty boring, right guys? I'm near the top now. Just taking another breather. This last bit's pretty treacherous. Nice uphill. I'm just gonna chill. On top of this rock. I'm gonna get the views. I love Colorado. <laughs> stretch still off trail I have no idea if I'm going to the right area but I'm still going up so that's good I'm not going down like I said finishing stretch pretty high up guys oh I made it to the summit but only downside there is like thousands of flies up here and they're landing and they don't fuck off they just land on you and stay I do not like bugs especially when they're crawling on me but it was worth the hike. The views are amazing, but I'm not saying it for very long because I don't know how long I can. I don't know how long I can endure all these bugs. Jesus Christ. I mean, you can see the Rockies right now. Whew. Jesus. Uh, good hike. Um, I guess these bugs just like hatched today or something. There's like a swarm, there's thousands of them, guys. Oh, I'm a little bummed out. Made it all this way just to be attacked by bugs. <sighs> but, hike was awesome. Definitely worth it. Alright, so now I gotta find my way back down. Alright, so I'm on my way back down from Bear Peak. It's getting less buggy now. I don't know what that was. That was weird. It was like that at Flagstaff Mountain a few weeks ago. But since I made it to the peak, I was able to find the trailhead coming back down. So my descent should be way easier than my ascent. So, oh, I can still see the Rockies right now, which is nice. They're right over here. Looks like the ski runs are finally drying up. I think that's Eldora. So we got the Rockies, got snow on them though. We got snow a few days ago. It's much easier to hike when you stay on the trail. Eh, I was definitely in the wrong spot. Yep, I came up on the fork in the trail where I went one way and not the other and I could see why um, the place I was supposed to go was kind of hidden and I felt like that one even though the path didn't go anywhere to where I needed to go it looked more clear than the other one but in hindsight if I ever do this hike again I know where to go go right at the water I'm about fourth way there so I should be at the car soon enough I'm ready to eat something. 
one of the things in this world I fear the most. Uh, I do not like snakes, guys. Alright, well I have service up here now. So I did a quick Google search and it's just a milk snake. So he's harmless. It's just like those colors right there, it could be a... I think they're called coral snakes? I can't remember, but I know like something with red and black and it's just not good. And he, is, he looks vicious, so... He's just a tiny little milk snake. He's not going to harm me. So I won't harm him. Made it back to that creek again. Love mountain creeks. Water test. Cold. Hey, made it to the trailhead. Made it back in one piece. Only thing wrong is that I am starving. It's time to eat. I was supposed to snack a little bit when I got to the summit, but those bugs kind of hindered that. But I can see my car now. Oh man. So I was over here, way up there. It's like 8,600 feet, so really good elevation gain today. Even though I got off trail, I still had a great time. And it was still, like I said, no harm, no foul. I'm okay, so not too worried about it. Or downhill anytime soon. My knees and legs are killing me. Oh, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a pretty good day. I'm about to my car and I'm about ready to chow down. So, like I said, if you liked what you saw today, just make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe. There will always be more hiking vlogs in the future. I try to do one at least once a week on my day off. Peace, guys.